Hello everyone and welcome to Volusia Reads Education Station. I'm Miss Laura from the Port Orange Regional Library and today I'm going to talk to you about writing letters. <laughs> As you can see, I have been receiving a lot of mail lately. Don't you love to go to your mailbox, open it up, and see a letter that was sent to you? Isn't it so fun to get letters from family and friends? Well, I have been receiving so many because I have been sending so many. Recently, I read a fun book that is written in the form of letters. The main character tells her story by writing letters throughout the book. And it made me want to talk to my family and friends, not just by calling them or sending them an email or texting or video chatting. It made me want to get out some paper, envelopes, something to write with some stamps and send some letters of my own. And today I'm gonna to show you how to write a traditional friendly letter and then we're gonna put a little twist on it and I'm going to show you how to get really creative and fun with your letter writing. So let's get started. In order to write a traditional friendly letter, first you need something to write on. <laughs> you could just use a piece of paper. You could use small pieces of paper. <laughs> You could use a card that you can open up and write inside and even draw on the outside before you send it. Or you can use a giant piece of paper like I'm going to use today to show you how to write a letter. If you don't have big paper like me, you can even use the back of wrapping paper. The main thing is, is that you're gonna be able to fold up your letter at the end and put it in an envelope. But any size paper will work. But to write your traditional friendly letter, there are different parts to your letter to know. The first is up here in the right hand corner of your paper, you're going to put a heading and this can include the date. So the day that you wrote your letter and then it can also include your address and you would include this so that the person getting your letter has your address right there at the top so they can send you a letter back. Then you're going to move over to the left side and you're going to put in a greeting and this would include some sort of way to say hello. So I'm gonna say dear in this one. That's a traditional thing to say. You could also say hi or hello if it's someone that you know really well. And then you're gonna put their name. So I put dear Rebecca, cause that's who I'm sending this letter to. And then you put a comma. So you are ready to start the body of your letter at that point. And the body of the letter is the most important part. It's the message. <laughs> You can include questions that you want to ask your family member or friend. You could tell them a story about something you've been doing lately. Anything you want to send as a message to them, you would put in the body of the letter. As you can see, I wrote Rebecca about this video because <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. And I thought she might want to hear about it. So that would be the body of the letter. And then when I'm finished writing that, I would conclude the letter. So the next part you need is a conclusion or a closing at the bottom. You're gonna move it back over to the right side of the paper and you could put something like sincerely or best wishes or I put your friend, which is my favorite way to end a letter and then a comma. And then you're gonna end it with your signature. So you put your name at the bottom and that way they know who the letter came from. That's probably the most important part. <laughs> But once your letter is finished, you're going to fold it up and fit it into an envelope. You're going to close your envelope, seal it up. I even put a little sticker on mine. And then on the front, you're gonna address the letter. So up here in the top left-hand corner, you're gonna put your information. So you want them to know where the letter is coming from. So you'll put your name and then your address below it. And then in the center of the envelope, right in the middle, you're going to put the information for the person you're sending it to. So you wanna put their name and their address. That way the letter will get to them in the right place. And then up here in the top right-hand corner, there's a space for you to put your stamp. And once you have done that, your letter is ready to go. Well, that's the way to write a traditional friendly letter. But you know what? Now I want to show you some ways to make it even more fun, to put some little twists and add a little bit to your letter writing. So I'm gonna gather some supplies and we'll do some activities together. Let's go. First, we are going to work on the outside of our letter. Yes, I mean the envelope. <laughs> you may think that's a silly place to start, but it's actually a great place to start because this is the first thing your friend or family member will see when they open their mailbox. So what you can do is you can decorate your envelope. 
You could add some designs to the bottom. You could cover the whole back with something fun. <laughs> And this is great to do because it just lets them get a little surprise before they even enter in and get your message. The main thing to remember is that you need to leave space for the address from you and your friend's address and for the stamp. But you can get really creative and make your envelope really fun for the person getting it. You can also make your own envelopes. <laughs> and this is really fun. You can see I have made my own out of some fun paper that I found. And you can make them out of any paper you have. Maybe you have a drawing that you did that you think would be a really fun pattern for an envelope. Maybe you have some scrap paper and you don't want to throw it away. You'd like to find another use for it. You can make an envelope out of it. I'm going to show you how to do it with this paper, which is covered in letters because I thought it'd be fun to send a letter in a letter envelope. <laughs> but all you need is some paper and then you need an old envelope. So one that you got in the mail that you're just gonna throw away. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take that envelope apart. So be really careful and gentle and open it up completely. And then you have a template or a pattern to use to make your own envelope. All you do is you put that down on your paper and then you outline it, you trace around the envelope and then you cut it out you fold it up just like the original envelope was, glue it down, and it is ready to use. Let me show you that a little bit more closely. So next let's move to the inside of the envelope and work on our letters and doing them in a creative way. So I'm going to suggest that you make your letter into a game. <laughs> so you would write your, your traditional friendly letter on your paper and then on the back you're going to draw a puzzle. So I've drawn a design of puzzle pieces all over the back and then I'm going to cut it out. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut out this whole thing for you to watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut out one piece so you can see what I mean. So I would do the whole paper, and then when I mail it to them, their letter is in pieces, and they have to put it all together before they can read my message. Isn't that fun? <laughs> if you do this, I suggest you use a thicker piece of paper. It'll just let your puzzle hold together a little bit better. And I suggest that you draw a picture around the edges or somewhere on your paper just to help them get started. But I encourage you to try this. It's really fun, and it's also really fun to get a letter that's like this. <laughs> The next thing you can try is to write your letter as a secret message. <laughs> maybe your friend loves a good mystery, or maybe you have a message that you want to send in a coded way so that they're the only ones who can read it. It's a fun thing to try. You could write your letter backwards. <laughs> this takes a little bit of practice, but it is totally worth it because when they get the letter, they'll open it up and they will have no idea what it says until they look in a mirror and read the letter that way because the mirror will reflect the message and they can read it in the right order. You may want to give them a hint if you write your letter this way, maybe on the envelope or at the top of your letter so they know how to get started in reading it. Otherwise, it may take them a long time to figure out what you said. <laughs> you could also turn your message into a code. For this one, I gave each letter of the alphabet a number, and then I wrote my letter using that code. And you could create a code um, with your friend maybe, and even send letters back and forth so they're always encoded messages. Wouldn't that be fun? But it's, it's really fun to try because then they have to do a little work to figure it out, but in the end, it is worth it to get your message in a secret way. You could also make your letter invisible. <laughs> 
You can use a white crayon to write your letter on your paper. And then the only way they can reveal it is to paint over it or color over it with a marker. And the letter will begin to be revealed. And this is really fun to do, but again, you want to give them a hint. Otherwise, they're gonna open up their letter and just see a white piece of paper and think you forgot to write them. So you'll wanna put a hint at the top of the paper or on your envelope somewhere. Maybe that's even in a secret hint kind of way and so that they can get started in reading. I encourage you to try these ways of writing a secret message or any other way you can think of, but it's really fun to do and to get. So the last thing I'm going to suggest is that you think creatively about what you write your letter on. So maybe you wanna use some scrap paper. This was a flyer from something I went to, or maybe even a coloring page and write your letter on the back, giving that piece of paper that you normally would just throw away a new life as you send it to your friend. <laughs> You could also um, write on the back of a drawing that you did. Show them some artwork that you created at the same time as writing them a message. You could also write on a bookmark, which is a really fun thing to do because then every time they use that bookmark when they're reading, they will see a message from you and be encouraged and think of you. And you can even use cardboard <laughs> to send a letter. This is a thin piece of cardboard. It's kind of like a piece of cardboard from a cereal box or something like that. And you can use this to write a letter and even a special kind of letter, a postcard. Usually a postcard is something that you send when you're on vacation or if you visited a new place. And it's simply a card that you can mail without an envelope. You can write your message directly on the back. They're designed that way. So there's a space for you to write your message. And then there's lines or space for you to write the address of the person you're sending it to and a space for the stamp. And you can make your own. On the cardboard, you'll see that I had, I drew on the front. I made a little message as if I'm sending a postcard from Port Orange where I live. And then on the back, I created a space just like on a normal postcard for my message and for the person I'm sending to information and for my stamp to go on later. And it's really fun thing to do because you can send these simply without an envelope and they are ready to go. And it's a fun way to use some cardboard that you have around the house. It needs to be a little thicker because if you mail a piece of paper like that, it's just going to get crumpled. So it's only something you can do with cardboard. But speaking of cardboard, <laughs> you can use a small piece like that. That's about four by six inches, which is a standard postcard. Or you can make a giant one. <laughs> this is really getting creative. This is a piece of cardboard that I had and I thought it would be fun to make it in to a place for a letter. So I decorated one side like a postcard and then the other side is ready for me to write a message write the contact information of the person I'm sending it to, and it's ready for postage, and it's a fun thing to try. The only thing to know about this is that it will cost more to send it, so you wanna think about that before putting a postcard together like this. Well, I hope that these activities have inspired you to get out some paper and some envelopes and start writing letters. I encourage you to go to the library and check out some books about letter writing. They'll give you some more ideas and even just tell you more about the types of letters you can write. You can also check out books that include lots of letters, some of them written completely in letters and some of them that have a letter as a main part of the story. But I also encourage you to go to volusialibrary.org slash kids and check out all of the resources we have for you. There's a ton of things you can look at in our digital library to get more ideas and more ways to learn and grow. And I also encourage you to tune in for another Volusia Reads Education Station. And most of all, I encourage you to keep writing, send some letters, and then get excited because you might get some letters back. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.